The uneducated palate would identify this as a Cabernet, when in fact it is a Merlot from Bordeaux. Correct. Oh, lucky guess. In my 20s, I befriended a sommelier from Paris, Marcel Caron. In fact, I went to stay with him. We'd drink wine all night and fall asleep to the sound of an accordion on the Rue de Montparnasse. Much like this wine, that story has too many fruity notes. Next glass. And sip. Mm. That is a mature Napa Valley Cabernet. Correct. Uh, eat that, old man. You know, you don't have to spike the football every time you get an answer right. Only you could make talking about wine into something obnoxious. Scores tied, 2-2. Two, two. Time now for the final wine. And to reveal the answer... Wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't. Before we turned this into a competition, we were both having fun, right? We were doing something we both liked. It did occur to me that this whole afternoon, neither one of us checked our watch once. And if we flip this over, one of us is going to feel bad, and it could ruin the thing. I mean, let's face it. We don't have a ton in common. But today, I saw a little bit of me in you. You can be a competitive jerk. And based on that summer in Paris story, you can be kind of a sensitive, even perfumey type That'll of... do it. Look. When you get back from your trip, why don't we make this a thing? We'll have a wine tasting once a month without the competition. I'm in. Damn it! Competitive bastard. Oh, I love that kid. 